We haven't got a decent striker. To be honest, we haven't got a proven decent striker. When was the last time that Stoke had a 20 goal a season striker? When was it? Because we haven't we haven't had one in ages. No. I'm sure we haven't. Have we got enough strength in our defence? This idea of playing the Reese, for example, at right back. Just don't just stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Stoke. You you want someone in at right back who's yeah. pushing Chamadou. Who's, say, who's, who's saying to Chamadou, if you're not performing, mate, then I'm going to be in your position. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Stoke Fan TV with myself, Max. And me, Sam. And Sam. And before we start today's video, a big thank you to everybody who's been liking the video, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already hit like on this video, please pause, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because it's making a massive difference. It really is. And it's really helping that channel progress. Right. Okay. So today's show, we've got Coventry tomorrow. Haven't we? Yeah. At home. It's the start of the season. We're all excited, so we've got that to talk about. We're also going to be discussing tactics, maybe discussing formations. And I really want to ask the question, have we got enough strength in our defence? I know everyone's talking about strikers. Have we got enough strikers? But what's going on with the defence? Do we actually have enough there across that back line to sustain us for the season? Do we maybe need to sign a few more players? Right, Sam, are you excited for the start of the season, mate? Yes, very excited for the start of the season, looking forward to the game. Now, are you feeling optimistic? That's the next question. 50-50, <laughs> maybe not very optimistic, but I'm looking forward to it. So why not? I don't think we've got anyone that can score a goal, still. So we're there again. Yeah. Another season with Stoke maybe not being able to score enough goals and it could cause a problem, couldn't it? I'm hoping that Gallagher can score goals, but after him coming off against AZ Alkamar the other day, I doubt he's going to be playing the full 90 against Coventry, so it'll be difficult to tell. Right, so let's have a think about who's going to be playing in this game. We've both got an idea of who we'd pick. Let us know in the comments, Stoke fans, who you'd be picking for tomorrow's game against Coventry. Now, you just mentioned Sam Gallagher. Latest signing, we're hoping that maybe he can hit the ground running and bag us a few goals, but is he going to be fit? We're filming this on a Tuesday. This show's coming out on a Friday. Maybe he's got fit and he's going to be in the lineup by now. Yeah. But at this point in time, we don't know. The other two players, goal threats, uh, Juno and Vidigal, are they fit? They've also missed the AZ Alkmaar game. Right. So we kind of seem to be struggling. Ryan May, we obviously know he's not going to be fit. No. Nope. So that kind of leaves us a little bit short, I it think. It leaves us with options. Ennis. And... Uh, Tez, Gall and, Tez Gall and Lowe. There are, there are three picks uh, as strikers, which yeah. it's not ideal, is no. it? No. Uh, but that's what we've got. Uh, in terms of wingers as well, we, we, we're obviously lacking Juno. And if Vidigal's not fit, we, we're lacking both of those yeah. uh, guys. Hopefully one of those might be fit for the weekend. Let's just go through our teams. Sam, you take us through your team first, if you would. So I'm going to go on the basis that none of them players are fit for my team because it right. doesn't look like they're going to be. I'm going to go with Johansson in goal, Bocat left back with Wilmot and Gibson at centre-half with Chamadou at right back. I'm going 4-5-1 formation. So I'm going Lyndon Gooch on left mid with Baker, Berger, Laurent and Manouf on the right wing with Ennis up front on his own. OK. Oh, well, that, that's a solid team. Um, I'll obviously ask you a couple of questions about that team in a second. I'll just give you my team. So I'd have Johansson in goal. Uh, I'd go with Gibson and Wilmot, uh, two centre-halves. I'd go with Shamadou at right-back. And I'd go with Bocat at left-back. Now, in the middle of the park, I'd probably have to go with Laurent at central defensive mid. Now, that might cause a little bit of controversy, but I feel like he is better there in that defensive role than he is in that attacking role. He would Pers be in mind. Person personally. Um, I'd go with Baker and Berger as two central midfielders that can push forward uh, alongside him. And then yeah. I'd have Manouf on the right. The next two positions are up for debate. Now, do I start Tezgal or do I start Ennis up top? This is based on the fact that Sam Gallagher is probably not going to be fit. I'd probably start with Ennis. Uh, up top yeah. just because he's a little bit more experienced and then if it's not working bring Tezgal on and on the left wing I'd actually probably start Lloris uh, now this is, this is again this is, might cause a bit of bone contention but for me Gooch on the left wing is going to offer us less 
than Larice. Just my opinion. People might be shouting, what are you on about? Let me know. <laughs> if you think I'm wrong, put it in the comments, please do. And also let us know your teams. So that's what we think, or that's what we want the teams to yeah. be. What do we think he's going to play? Because I don't think he's going to play that team. No. I um, think we can agree that he's going to play Johansson in goal. Yeah, because he'll play Johansson in goal, definitely. And he, he's, he's looking all right, isn't he, Johansson? He's all right, but he has been caught out by two sort of lobs or, like, not very great goalkeeping in pre-season. So, kind of, maybe watch how much he comes off his line. Yes. You hear That's that? what I'd say going on yeah. the AZ Altmar performance. He was off his line too much. You're watching, Johansson. Stay on your line a bit more and don't forget to buy us a beer after the game. <laughs> so, <laughs> in front of that, uh, two centre-halves, I think he's going to go with the suggestions that we've just yeah. made. I'm pretty sure Rose is out for a while. Don't know how long. We'll have to look into that. But Doesn't I'm say, anywhere. Um, but I'm pretty sure that Rose isn't fit. Yeah. So I'm going to su- I think he's going to go with Gibson and, and Wilmot, right? Yeah, probably. How do you feel about those two? I don't really know because I've not, I've not seen him in a competitive game play with each other. Because last season it was Rose and McNally, wasn't it, most of the time? Mm-hmm. Wilmot's a good defender. I like Wilmot. Yeah. I've not seen a lot of Gibson yet, so we'll see. Okay, okay. Bocat at left back. I think he's gonna he's gonna go with him over Stevens, right? You'd have I thought. Expect so. He's played all of the preseason games, hasn't he? Yeah, and he's a new sign in, and, yeah. and he looks all right. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how he comes up uh, this season in the championship. Right back. Do you think he's gonna go with Shamadou? He's got to, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got to really. Really, unless he puts Lloris there because he's been trying Lloris at right back. I don't know. I I don't like this idea. No. Larice is a right back. I really don't. I think Larice is is more of an impact sub on that right wing. Or yeah. uh, to be honest with you, though, as I said just then, I'd, I'd start him on the left if we haven't got a fit left winger. Um, right, moving forward into the middle of the pitch. I don't. I don't think he's going to go with what we, either of us suggested. I think he's, he's going to go with Thompson at yeah. central defensive midfield. I reckon he will because I don't think I've seen him play Baker and Laurent in the same team. Even though he got sent off against AZ, it, I can see it happening because he likes him, doesn't he? Yeah. Was there any need to get sent off? I don't really know what happened. It didn't. The it was a headbutting, wasn't it? It spit and there when there was a head. Yeah. It was all a bit unnecessary. Both players got sent off. Yeah, so. it, was, it was just unnecessary. Yeah. Um, and if I was the manager, I'd, I'd, I'd probably be having with it. But listen, calm down. Yeah. You know, um, you've got to keep your head. And, and we're going into the season. I mean, Pearson's injured. You can't become the new Pearson and get books no. every game. <laughs> Does kidding. he make Thompson miss a game as part of principle? No. Well, no, I don't think it. I think he'll stick. I think he'll go with Thompson at CDM, and then in front of that, I think he'll. I think he'll go with Berger, and yeah. I think he'll go with Laurent. I don't think Baker, which to me is wrong. I think Baker yeah. should be playing in the game. I think he should be starting in the game. He we'll offers see. us a lot going forward. He takes shots from distance, and also his set pieces. We'll see. What do you think to that midfield statement? Is it paying for contention, Alice? So on the right wing, I think. That's an obvious, that's a given in my eyes. I think he'll go with Manu. Yeah, got to. Great player Manu is. As yeah. said before, much like Shakiri, can cut in pretty good of his left foot issues. I hope he um, I hope he progresses the season as well yeah. um, and bags himself a few more goals. Um, it'd be nice to see towards the end of the season, he was he was really in, in, in some good form. Who's he going for A striker? It's got to be Ennis on experience, but I still don't think Ennis is good enough, to be honest. No? No, not scored a goal all pre-season. He's supposed to be the striker. OK. Well, we'll it, go... does, it doesn't look great, does it? Well, we'll go, we'll, go in, we'll go into strikers and defenders and that in a minute. And on the left wing, who's he going to pick on the left wing? If Vidigal's fit, I'm presuming he's going to pick Vidigal. I'd hope. You'd hope so. But if he's not fit... Or do you know if he's fit? If Juno, if Juno's fit, but he didn't look very good when we went to the, uh, the training on the pitch. He limped along the, the side of the pitch. I think he's going to... He's going to pick Gooch. I reckon he's going to pick Gooch because he did the other day. I genuinely reckon he will. But uh, Gooch is quite sure good. That. Yeah, Gooch is he's quite... A, he's quite good at getting forward. Well, yeah, but, but that... And he has scored a couple of goals last season from getting forward with that. Like, so, there's okay. a potential. He's yeah. scored more goals than Ennis has. Yeah, yeah, OK. There is, there is that, I suppose. I mean, we'll see. What do you think to that, Stoke fans? Gooch on the left wing... Does it work for you? Did you think he was uh, impressed for you in that a- AZ game? Right, so there's our teams, and there's the team that we think is going to play tomorrow. Let's mention a couple of the Coventry uh, players. I haven't really watched a lot of the Coventry games in this run-up. Are Coventry looking dangerous? I mean, they played some big... You mentioned Coventry it in the last show. Coventry are a good team. They, 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 played, they played some 
co- yeah. competitive pre-season and friendlies. I think the main one that Coventry will be optimistic about is beating Everton for you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, they've signed Brandon Thomas Asante, who Stoke fans will know. Brandon Thomas Asante is a guy that scores against us when West Brom have played us for the past three seasons. I haven't been watching the. The, the games, I don't quite know what the lineup from Coventry are going to be. It's the first game of the season. It's the championship. Yeah. I mean, who who knows? They, yeah. they could come into it and they could be... On, I mean, a couple of seasons ago, Coventry were looking like a really good outfit. They lost their key striker. Um, he went he went away. Yeah. And But they're still looking like an half-decent team. And last season, they had a brilliant run in a cup, didn't they? Yeah. So we know that they can, they can, Good team. They, they can play well. It's a tough, tough it's game. It's a tough opening game, even though it's at home. Let's hope the Stoke of towards the end of last yeah. season turns up uh, against that. Coventry It'll be a good crowd as well. Are there any Coventry fans watching? Let us know in the comments if if there's any players that you think Stoke need to watch out for. Or again, Stoke fans, if you've been watching Coventry play in that pre-season, stick it in the comments. Say we need to watch out for him, um, or this is what we need to do. I mean, the tactically, who knows how we're going to play out. I just, I feel that the game may well be won and lost in the middle of the park. Yeah. I just, I've got a, feel, I've got a feeling about that because that midfield three, mentioned it before, it's got to start to tick, you know? Yeah. It's got to start to, to tick. Right. So we mentioned this at the start of the video. Stoke goals, we know goals are a problem. Yeah. Um. Uh, but one thing that doesn't seem to be getting mentioned as much is our defence. Now, last season, we obviously, we had Jordan Thompson playing for a lot of the season at left-back. Yeah. We had um, Rose and McNally as centre-backs. And then we have probably had Hoover for a good proportion yeah. of the game. Now, none of, none of those defenders are going to be playing in... in the game tomorrow no well it's very unlikely yeah in the, in those positions thompson might be playing in cent- central defensive mid there was a there was a thought that we might get mcnally back now controversially well i say controversially but some people might know it i i quite like him back yeah stoke stoke defense got a lot of flat last season but we only can we can see this on like 60 60, 60 60 goals now that's in the table that's 11th yeah that's all right that's that's decent it's not bad. It's about, I think that's the same as like, it's the same as like Middlesbrough, that kind of that yeah. kind of thing. I don't think that's a bad thing. And that was Rose and McNally who played a good portion of games together. Yeah. Yeah. And and yes, Thompson at, at, at left back for a good portion of the season. Gooch was playing as well. Yeah. And Gooch was playing left back as well. And and, and Chamadu. And Stevens. Yeah, Stevens played a bit. So so the defence there, but the cent the central defensive partnership. Now at the yeah. minute, what bothers me a bit is we've got Gibson. And we've obviously got Wilmot. Yeah. Are they both going to be able to stay fit for the whole season? And are you going to be able to fork? Because I'm not, I'm not denying that they're both good central defenders. Yeah. But as a, as a unit, and Gibson, yes, he's coming, experienced head, great to see. Saw his interview after the AZ game the other day, brilliant. You know, looks like a natural leader. But are those two in the middle going to, going to get us all the way through the season? Who's the two young lads that have been... So we've well. got Freddie Anderson. Yeah. And we've got Jaden Dixon. He's... Dixon's a good player. Yeah. And it would be good if Dixon gets on to see how he can fare against the championship teams early on before the transfer window ends. Because if he does need to go out on loan, then the option's there. But we definitely need to get a couple in if we do start loaning them out. Um, uh, right backs, obviously. We've got uh, Chamadu. Where's. What's happened to Hoover? Is there no chance of him coming back? I saw that Hoover was possibly going to Sheffield United. But then I saw somewhere that he might have failed his medical and he was actually going to come to Stoke instead. Right. So and I've not whispers. seen anything since. Do you think we, we, we do you think we have enough across that back line no. to last us a season? No. What do you think, Stoke? I don't think we've got enough. I think no. we need we need to bolster that. And yeah. we need to get it done sharply. I, I, I'm not really a fan of all this business going into the this no, season. It needed to be done earlier. It's annoying. And I know we've had the Euros. The players that we're likely to sign, have they been, will they have been playing at the Euros? No. I don't think so. No. So I think we need to get a few more get a few more in, strengthen that back line, because this idea of playing the Reese, for example, at right back, just don't, just stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Stoke. Stop it. You've already been playing midfielders. 
out of position last season. Stop it. Lloris is a winger. Not a, not a, you know, okay, sure, he can defend a bit. But come on. You, you want someone in at right back who's yeah. pushing Chamadu, who's, say, who's, who's saying to Chamadu, if you're not performing, mate, then I'm going to be in your position. So, anyway, that's the back line. Yeah. That's what I think. Strikers, Sam. <laughs> Come on, tell us your piece. We haven't got a decent striker. Bold call. Why have we not? We got... haven't got a decent striker. Ennis is not a proven striker. What's he scored last season? One goal. In his first game? In his first game. And then, <laughs> and then did nothing, really, since that game, did he? I don't know. You tell... is, it, is it the strike? Is it the strike, Sam's at formation? It's the strikers, because we haven't got the a striker. decent striker. We have not got a decent striker. If Gallagher proves me wrong, then happy days. But as I currently see it, we have not got a decent striker. Mm. To be honest, we haven't got a proven decent striker. One thing, one thing is that I, that I wish Stoke fans, and all fans actually, would stop, is this, we need a 20-goal-a-season striker. When was the last time that Stoke had a 20-goal-a-season striker? When was it? Because we haven't we haven't had one in ages. Right. I'm sure we haven't. In fact, I'll get Sam to check right now. So get your phone out, Sam, and have a look at list of Stoke goal scorers. List of Stoke goal scorers. I mean, I mean scorers, there's there are strikers goals. out there that Stoke fans love and have loved from 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 previous generations. Peter Thorne. Was he our last over twenty goal a season striker? Peter Thorne got 30 back in 1999-2000 season. In fact, let's take somebody like Ricardo Fuller. Yeah. What, what's his best season in terms of goal scoring? So, Ricardo Fuller got 15 goals in the Championship promotion to Premier League season. 15 goals. Yeah, and then got 11 in the season after. Would you be happy with a 10-goal a season striker? Do you know what? I actually, I would be. I would Cause, be. Because like, we haven't... that Rather than 20, we say 20... Yeah. What are the chances of getting a 20 goals a season striker? It's it's not, is it? I don't think. And I think people need to be a little bit more realistic, yeah. to be honest. And, and actually, and we say, oh, we, we, we throw it around like, oh, we have a 20 goals a season striker. Well, I'm guilty of it. I've done it. Yeah. It's not, it's not, not going to happen. It's not realistic, it's not gonna is happen. it? So take Sam Gallagher, for example. Yeah. If Sam Gallagher scores 10 goals a season, 10 goals for us this season, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, I'm I, I, I actually would. I'm I, I'd, 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 I'd be happy. I would be. You know? And that's, a, that's, that's seven more goals than he scored last season. It's about um, the same as what John Walters was getting for us. So I'd, I'd be happy with that. So, so Tezgal? Yeah. What about him? Not ready. Low? Not ready. Not ready. And you don't, you don't rate Ennis? No. At, at, you know? You, you just don't think he's got the... I want him to prove me wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm giving him a chance to prove me wrong, but I don't think he's good enough. We're going to hopefully play more with a false nine, I think, this season. Yeah, for somebody sitting back, we'll do a breakdown and we'll maybe do a tactical breakdown. We'll put a pitch out and players. But where I think it went wrong for the strikers last season, because we didn't have bad strikers last season. Obviously, yeah. we had uh, Ryan May, um, we had Tyrese Campbell. Uh, obviously, we've got Ennis towards the end of the season. Yeah, but you've got strikers there that can score goals, but it just wasn't happening. No. Now, one of the things that we seem to play is we seem to play with a number ten, didn't we? Juno's got the number 10 shirt now. But did, were there, I thought there was a bit too much going on in that area. So we'll do a bit of a... Yeah. Try and do a bit of a breakdown for you at some point, Stoke fans. But to, but to summarise, what, you, what you're what you saying is you, you don't think that Stoke have got enough strike uh, no. strike strike options? Not at all. And you think that's where the problem's going to... I think that's been the problem for many years, to be honest. Right, just the lack of And lack I of think, goals. to be fair, going into this season, we're in the worst situation striker-wise and we've actually been in for quite a long time, so I think it's actually worse. OK, well, let's, let's, hope, let's, hope, you, let's hope you're wrong. Yes, I'm me. I, I hope I'm wrong. I'm really looking forward to going to the game. We'll be there. We'll be there walking around with, um, with our microphone, so yeah. we'll, if you want to come and talk with, talk with us and let us know, I don't know, about the game or what your thoughts are going into the season, let us know your thoughts on 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 the striker situation. Are we gonna are we gonna bag enough goals? Last season, just interesting to mention, we mentioned that we were eleventh or something like that. I think in in terms of goals conceded, yeah. But in terms of goals scored, nineteenth on the 19th. table. It says it all, doesn't it? Yeah, it says it all. Uh, there was a quick mention about Kundal potentially coming back at some point. Not heard anything. No, you not heard anything. No. That's something we can we'll, we'll discuss maybe in the next show. He might very well fit into this new system yeah. in the middle of the park. 
who knows? Right, anyway, that's it from us Stoke fans. We're looking forward very much to the Coventry game tomorrow. We'll see you at the game, hopefully, if you're there. Come and find us, come and have a chat with us, and we'll try and get you involved uh, in the show, well, yeah. on, the, on the channel. Thanks for watching, and that's it from me. And that's it from me. And him as well. So we'll see you soon.